everybody. A nice one. Welcome to our uh, video log or vlog or uh, YouTube uh, episode one of our new feature. This is new for us, so we're finding our own way. And uh, this is exciting today because Arblis, we have put together a brand new feature called episode one of five minutes with. It's called five minutes with. And uh, we have chosen and been blessed today uh, to feature one of the leading um, suppliers of machinery in the UK and spending five minutes with us today is uh, a gentleman by the name of Steve Hadfield of Compact Loaders UK and alongside Steve is Steve's account manager at Arbleys and Marco Amat. So I'd like to welcome them both uh, at the moment. We should be live. Hi, good morning gents. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Thanks for, uh, thank you for five minutes. Well, we're hoping it'll be a little bit longer, but we're trying to keep it to five minutes. Um, but uh, if it goes a little longer, don't worry too much. Um, thank you for joining us, Steve. How are you? You okay? Yeah, pretty good. Um, challenging, you know, just getting used to the new norm, I think, at the moment. Uh, everything's, everything's changed a little bit, hasn't it? Well, it's been a major change and we're finding that everybody we're speaking to is in uncharted territory at the moment. Um, that's the whole point of this feature today and it's great to get you on today because we're going to spend five minutes with you in a minute finding out what changes you've made um, and in the way you're operating and uh, find out how you're uh, planning to continue to work, we're hoping, with things uh, and, and, uh, and being as successful as we can be in the current climate, which uh, for some it's finding it very easy, for some finding it very challenging, but we've all had to adjust. Um, so yeah, no, we're, we're really happy and we're finding ourselves nice and busy because the industry that we're in is easy to do remotely. Um, but um, obviously when you're dealing with machinery and metal, things are a little bit different. So I know that you've dealt with Marco for many years uh, and Marco's with us today. Um, so I'm probably best to, to ask Marco to step up now and, uh, and maybe have a quick chat with you and, uh, and ask you some key questions as to how you hope to achieve to trade as normal as possible and as successful as possible uh, for your sake and the client's sake in the current climate. So Marco, over to you. Hi guys. Hey Steve, how you doing? You alright? I'm good, thanks Marco. Very good. Good, good to see good. you. And yourself. Um, yeah, just a couple of things. I mean, just, just before we see sort of we kick off with a couple of questions and things, just to give us a sort of a bit of a, a bit of a background with regards to sort of Compact Loaders UK. So I'm, I'm, I'm right in sort of saying that you sort of deal with kind of a uh, sort of two or three different types of product, multi-one Sherpas, um, Ecovolve. That's, that's an interesting one, isn't it? Because obviously they're, they're electric. Is that right? Yeah. Um, I mean, historically, the kind of machines we supply are diesel or petrol powered. But yeah, we... We have a range of electric machines as well. The, the Ecovolve dumper is particularly interesting for certain sectors. Uh, the Sherpa electric is, is, is becoming you know, very popular, especially in um, demolition circles at the minute. Um, and the electric multi ones that's just been added, um, we've just had the new lithium version of that come out as well. Um, but our core sort of models, if you like, for the ARP sector especially are still the diesel machines because everyone's working outdoors and needs the, uh, the autonomy without plugging in. Nice. Good. Okay. So, um, yeah, all sorts of all sorts of different variations of stuff, which is really interesting because it doesn't. Not only obviously does it apply to art, but it applies obviously to a myriad of different industries as well. Um, I think we've done we've done one recently, haven't we, for a, a nursery? Um, for what were they called? They were called Horta Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're a, they're a, a prominent tree grower. Um, and they, they grow uh, mature trees um, and specialise in planting them in, in uh, key locations, um, places like oil parks and uh, wealthy people's gardens, really. So, and they, they needed to keep productive, especially going into the lockdown period. So we, we worked really hard together on that one to get that turned around before um, lockdown really sort of stopped us from delivering. And they're now very uh, active, keeping their clients sort of happy and keeping things running without yeah. the yeah. need to throw lots of labor at it just by utilizing the machine well. And that's one of yeah. our bigger models, a big 9.6 multi one. Cool, and, and, and so that, that brings us sort of nicely into the questions really. I mean, <clears throat> how has the business adjusted then or, and sort of you know, operating in this, in this sort of current climate? Well, we've, we've adjusted very well. I mean, our our sort of business model is to focus very heavily with our core team on um, 
marketing, sales, and technical support. And then we have a, a, a big network of uh, authorised independent service providers across the UK um, who do the, the field support. So um, we found it's, it's, it's actually been quite easy to do what we do as a core business from our respective homes rather than being in the office. Um, and we've also... Have I disappeared? I'm yeah, I think you've frozen, you've frozen a little bit there, Steve. I'm not sure where you are. Is your, uh, is your computer still connected there? Do you want to try and read yeah, it? Yeah, I can still see you. I don't know if you can still see me. Yeah, we'll, uh, we've seen, we seem to be struggling with technology slightly. But carry on. I think, provided we can hear you, we'll, we'll carry on. Okay, no problem. So, yeah, so, we, you know, we're still managing to, um, to do our core activities. The, the, the inquiry level at the moment is at an unprecedentedly high level. Um, there's a lot of people very interested in our products to basically plan forward to keep productive, uh, get sites back up and running without needing to throw lots of labor on the job. So, uh, you know, the machines replace manpower to quite a large degree. We've got a lot of guys that are, that are working with skeleton crews and still yeah. getting, getting the job done. So it's, um, you know, it's been a, it's been a very busy few weeks from a sales and marketing perspective. Um, and yeah, we, we've adapted quite well. I think this is a, a really good um, opportunity and catalyst for change. And we all need to embrace that and find new routes forward. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we saw that up, uptick, you know, probably about a good two or three years ago in the industry really changing and people thinking obviously a lot sort of smarter than working harder, um, you know, to sort of eliminating that kind of one or two sort of workers that really that they can utilize the machinery to be so much more productive. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we saw a real influx in, in sort of finance deals and obviously the equipment coming through. I think it was a good, I think, it was a good, I, think I barely remember it being a sort of the AA show a good few years ago, four years ago, we were seeing more and more and more loaders obviously coming in with, um, and with obviously yourself and other manufacturers. Um, Another one to sort of sort of kick things off with. So uh, obviously you're still providing machinery, um, services and demo. How are you? How are you going about that then? How are you overcoming these challenges that we're kind of we're facing? Obviously with sort of government guidelines and so on. Well, um, obviously we've got to be very responsible in in all our activities. Um, the key thing that we are curbing at the moment is demonstration, because demonstration is very uh, much uh, hand in hand and working face to face with prospective customers. Um, mm. So that's the difficult part of the moment. We can't really go about our usual business of traveling the country and demonstrating. Um, but we are still delivering. Uh, we're spending a lot of time sharing knowledge and information. Um, our YouTube page has been a godsend, really, um, mm. because it's, it's a wealth of sort of sources of information and, and, and being able to see machines moving. So that helps people a lot. Um, and what we've done on the recent deliveries that we've done over the last couple of weeks is to give a satisfaction guarantee. So we, we actually sort of forge ahead with putting everything in place. Then we motivate, you know, mobilize ourselves to go and deliver a machine. But we give the customer a satisfaction guarantee on the day. If there's anything they're not happy with because they didn't get to have a demonstration, we will walk up, you know, step back and walk away from the sale uh, for their benefit. Um, so far, that's proven to be a good method. Um, and everyone's satisfied on delivery. So the, the deliveries have all run smoothly and, and, and gone according to plan. Um, yeah. But yeah, the, the big challenge is, is demonstration. We can't easily do that now. We yeah. are yeah. keeping our own premises open to uh, selected visitors. So provided that we can have very small numbers of people and we can control the environment, we can basically make our playground open for someone to come and visit us and have a good play. You know, we've got tools and materials and logs and, and, and uh, off-road driving uh, spaces for people to play you know, in, in a controlled environment that we can control and, and, and maintain social distancing. So that helps as well. Great. I'm, so, I'm sorry we've lost your visual there, Steve. Some, some may say it's a blessing. Some may say it's a disaster. But uh, we can oh, hear you. And we can hear you. That's the main thing. Finally, I'm just going to ask the, the, the final key question, which is stock ready to go. Have you got anything in at the moment? If somebody wants to buy one of your machines, what have you got for sale right now? They can go today. You know, what have you got right now? Well, uh, we're very fortunate because we came into this period with a good, healthy stock level. We, 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 we had a very, very busy January, February, March. 
So we kept our stock levels um, you know, up, up to speed. We've got uh, most Multi One models on stock in the UK. Brilliant. We've got a good selection of Sherpa models on stock in the UK, and we also have uh, Eco Evolve electric dumpers on stock in the UK. Uh, we're also backed up well, especially with Multi One, because they carry good stock levels at the factory. And at the moment, uh, freight and shipments are running. You know, we, we don't have any issue with getting wow. machines out from the factory. So we're running a uh, full shipment of machines next Friday, for example, um, which is about a three day, three to four day delivery time scale to get to the UK. So, uh, yeah, we, we've, we've got really good availability of most models. Great. OK, well, that's wonderful news. Um, thank you very much for your time today. We have, we have well bypassed the five minutes. And as for our first episode, unique, because there's only basically me and Marco. We, we just, you're like the invisible man. Uh, but <laughs> great. There we go. The wonders of modern day technology. So um, we can arrange delivery. We can arrange a multi one. And we will post a full list of the machines that are available at what monthly payment um, uh, alongside this vlog. Steve Hadfield from uh, Compact Loaders UK, thank you very much for your company today. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you for my five plus minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we knew it would be a little bit longer. Thanks, Steve. All the best. Okay. Take care. Stay safe. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Hi guys, thanks for uh, tuning into episode one of Five Minutes With. We had a great time and we want to thank Steve Hadfield from Compact Loaders UK for his time and telling us all about the products that he imports and distributes. Um, there's Multi One, the Sherpa, there is another one, but check out his website. All the details are on there. Also follow the link below in the YouTube bio and it'll link you to all of the Multi One range that are available to buy at affordable monthly payments at fixed low rates. 0% available, finance available in the UK and in Ireland. Episode two will be out in the next few days and that's going to feature an interview with a tree surgeon, a business. Um, we can't wait to find out how businesses have changed, how we've, cho have we've altered, how we've adjusted in the current climate to survive, make money and grow. And we're going to find out in episode two, which will be live in the next few days. So subscribe to our YouTube channel, keep updated, hit the subscribe, get notified when more videos come live and keep updated. We really appreciate you watching. We hope you're enjoying watching our new feature. Uh, this has been five minutes with episode two out in the next few days. Thanks for tuning in.